Your head up, Jess. Come on now. What is that thing? Big horn. No idea what it's doing in these parts. Must have strayed from the flock. Five more. Looks scared. Yeah. Driven off by the storms, I reckon. I don't know about this. Can I take the shot? Uh-uh. Situation like this, you need to pay attention to your surroundings. Your mind will slip into that scope. Awareness will narrow the head of a pin. You make sure while you're stalking that bighorn, you're still watching out for what's stalking you, baby. Good. Good, all right. All right, tell me what you're sensing. It's gonna rain soon. Good. What else? Uh, I don't know, there's a... There's a band of coyotes about 100 yards northeast of here. Five more, Zofia, kick! Kick! <gasps> Keep your hands up. Again. No, no more, Mama. This is how you die. This is the moment they get you. We die because we let them kill us. You will face a big, strong Aryan true believer who can push through pain for one second longer than you do. And that's all it takes. When does it stop, Mama? Listen, Kokanya, to survive is to embrace the suffering, to stand up and carry it. Okay? Teraz jeszcze pięć. Five more. Hey, language Sofia. Daddy. Yep. What else? Daddy? Are you leaving? Holy shit. Holy shit. Situational awareness. I'll save your life. Come on now. Take your shot before the rains come. I was beginning to think you lacked that killer instinct. Screw you, Arthur. Ah, uh, girls, you be nice to each other. Come on. <laughs> what? It's a compliment. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Our girls are young women now. When did that happen? What's the matter, darling? Gotta get out of the rain. Scalpel? So you girls are sisters, c'est bien ça? Twin, Twin sisters. sisters. Mm. Daughters of the famous Captain Blaskovich himself. Except for Abby here, she's a friend of the family. We know he was here, ma'am. He came here looking for something. 
And then he helped us fight the Nazis, and suddenly he was gone. Plus de terre, s'il te plaît, Jacques. You have antibiotics, Jack? Oh, poor Jack, he's a mute. Why do you want antibiotics? He's got peritonitis. Oh, and how do you know this? Swollen abdomen, rapid breathing. His peritoneum is inflamed, which will eventually lead to sepsis and death. He needs antibiotics. Oh, you come over here, you in? I'm cool. Ma'am, please. Everyone calls me Juju. Will you help us find him, Juju? You wearing power suits? Yep. We don't have anything like this here. Can you handle the gun? Damn straight. Hmm. Have you ever killed Nazis before? Listen, ma'am. We were born to kill Nazis. <laughs> Tonton Stajak. Born to kill Nazis. We ain't kill no Nazis. All right, Arthur, they don't need to know that. Very well, then. I may have an assignment suitable for two Nazi killers such as yourselves. After the previous General Lothar Brandt was ousted from power by Berlin, they sent in a new general to fight the Paris uprising. This general is located in a zeppelin called the Nachtfalter. Kill him first. Then we may proceed with finding your father. Daddy's hurt, bleeding somewhere. We can do this. We can find him. Are you kidding me? We got this shit, sis. Fucking A. Remember, girls, you are the daughters of the man who killed Adolf fucking Hitler. You were born to do this. Your target, General Winkler, should be in the front end of the Zeppelin. Copy that, Abster.
you're going down! Du bist echt nutzlos. <lacht> We need a code to open these doors. Let's take a look and see if we can find them. Need a computer so we can decrypt this. How you holding up, Jess? Fine as cream gravy.
I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I owe you one, sis. Jess. Do I look scared to you? It's okay, Jess. I get scared sometimes, too. Well, I never get scared, and that's that.
computer. Could be some interesting information on it. Hier spricht General Winkler. Die Mädchen werden langsam wirklich lästig. Halten Sie auf, bevor ich es selbst machen muss. You are getting a crap load of story material here for a book, so... Yeah. I just hope I get the t Hey, Jess. You went hunting with Dad. What did you talk about? Ain't telling, Soph. Why don't you go hunting with him yourself sometime? I only hunt Nazis, Jess. Not animals.
Position ein! Verstanden! Nazi power suits, so be careful. All right? Sure thing, Abby. Der hat es also in 
Besitzer, der Adler aus der Lili. Seid ihr bereit zu sterben? Let's kick this general's ass.
I'm sleeping over. Cool. Children, can you give us a moment? Ugh. Children. Hey, what's that, Abby? A listening device. Looks like something out of Arthur and Kenneth. You built this thing? Yep. Who are Arthur and Kenneth? You're telling me you haven't read the covert adventures of Arthur Pennington and Kenneth Van Holshauser? Man, what rock have you been living under? Take it. No time for reading fiction. So Arthur and Kenneth are super spies, right? And they go on. No, shut up, shut up. Listen. everywhere. He just vanished. Well, my agents inform me that he left the country under a false identity about four weeks ago. But after that, the trail went cold. Anya, did you notice anything peculiar about his demeanor lately? No. Sometimes he doesn't talk for a day. Just like in the asylum. You know how he is. Always brooding. Yeah. I can't go after him, Grace. I have to stay here and watch over my girls. You are the head of the FBI. Isn't there anything you can do? Listen, trust me, if there was anything any of the agencies could do, girl, you know I would be all over that shit. You know what the bottom line is? He doesn't want to be found, Anya. And if BJ fucking Blaskowitz doesn't want to be found, there is nothing and no one on God's green earth that's gonna find his ass. Yeah, it's fucked. Screw this. We will look for him. No one ever does anything. Loser, Scott. No, we gotta do something. What, 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 what would Arthur and Kenneth do? Yeah, they're characters in a book, Jess. I know that asshole. I'm thinking out now. I'm getting something from upstairs. There's nothing up there. <clears throat> oh, wow. None of you knew this was here? Negative. What the hell is this place? Check this out. That's Seth's handwriting. Who's this? Codename Blackbird. Paris Catacombs. There you have it. That's your lead. He's in Paris. You know, if we say something, they aren't gonna do jack shit. Well, I guess it's just up to us then. I say, what time is it? I think it's time for Arthur and Kenneth to pull us through this sticky wicket. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> you guys are weird. We're going to the hamburger bar, mother. Abby, get back here right fucking now. You're breaking up. Abby! <laughs> Let me show you something. Whoa. 
Where'd you get these power suits? Made them. All the Nazi generals have these nowadays, so you will need it. Holy fucking shit. You're pretty awesome, Abby. I just finished one of Seth's projects. It was his dying wish. I have more things I'm working on in the cargo hold. No wonder Grace wants you to join her advanced research division. Maybe she'll send you to Juvie instead. Sounded pretty mad you stole a ride. You think she cares what her mother thinks? I don't care what anyone thinks. Are you Blackbird? And who might you girls be? I do not want to do that shit again. Well, stewardesses, just like Daddy told us.
feel unstoppable. So, like, like, like I could take down Sarah Jane from school. Sarah Jane stole your lunch money, Jess. Doesn't make her a Nazi. Yeah. Close enough. We gotta get a code. We should check that guard booth. Sounds like a pull -off. It's the Paris uprising. Nazis are getting scared out of their pants.
Dude, look at this place. Totally deserted. It's like the end of the world or something. Ah, look what I got. A mini computer. Could be some interesting information on it. Take it out this one! 
I love these cute little mini computers. Should be something interesting to read on. <laughs> Look what those fuckers did to this beautiful city, so we're gonna drive these Nazi assholes out, Jess. <laughs> oh, oh ah! shoot, okay. A treat for you. Oh my god. The wine is excellent with the chocolate. Cigarette? No, 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 no. You should pull it down into your lungs like this. Now you. <laughs> ah, if it wasn't for the war, you beautiful girls could be having the time of your life. You should indulge in every moment. Ladies. I decrypted fragments of stolen Nazi intel on the computer. Witness reports from Nazis who survived the encounter with Captain Blaskowitz. Piecing together the fragmented information, I deduced that he was looking for a place called Lab X. That's where he must be then. Let's go. Hold on, Jess. Only a privileged few know where Lab X is. Sit down, ass wipe. Shove it. You know German. Oh, we know enough. Abby. We intercepted a transmission with General Lothar Brandt. Listen. That's what we got. May I have? General Lothar built the brothers to subdue and control Paris. An Uber commandant in each tower guards the keys to the main computers. If we take control over them, we can unlock the entrance to Lab X and find your father. Break into the towers, kill the Uber commandant, steal their keys, open the main computers, and Bob's your uncle. My uncle's name was Hubert, and he was killed by the Nazis. Oh, oh I'm sorry. That, that's, an ex that's an expression Arthur and Kenneth <laughs> used. I was only joking. Of course, I know the expression about Uncle Bob. <laughs> well, it's for me. Thank you. Sof, I fear the brothers may be out of your depth. You have to train before you even dare to approach the towers. Good luck. And let me know if you need any more cigarettes. Okay, girls? Du bon travail, Abby. Such a cool dame. 
You think we're missing something? Like what? Like the snake in the grass. Can't you just enjoy life for a second, Jess? Close. I have a deep respect for the